Hey everybody, welcome to June Favorites. I'm going to do something a little bit different today and I'm going to combine two videos, but don't worry, I will put the timestamp below if you want to jump ahead. So what I'm going to do, I have a few beauty and lifestyle favorites to talk about and then I'm also going to incorporate June's uh, top 10 like bestsellers most popular. I've been doing this on the blog the last couple of months So definitely check that out if you're curious I also put it on my Instagram and it's always in the like to know it app as well um, But I always like going over this because I find it so interesting to see what you guys are loving Most of the time it's from a trip. I've taken a few trips the last few months So no surprise that some of these outfits are from there But let's go ahead and get started with that and again, I'll put the timestamp where um, my beauty and lifestyle favorites um, start. So number one is no surprise. It seriously was like your guys' favorite. You DM'd me about it. The comments were so nice. Thank you. Was this blue and white dress I wore in Marco Island. To me, it was perfect for that. I think I had taken it on another trip, but it just didn't feel right. Um, but I really liked it for this trip. It was great. It was like a nice casual beach dress to wear. The material is thinner, um, but I have another dress that's kind of like that too. So it's not see-through though. I didn't find that at all. Um, very comfortable to wear. It ran true to size, I'm pretty sure. I will link an alternative that is more expensive. I actually purchased this one and ended up returning it because I loved the green, but it is a lot more expensive, but it's a different material. It's more of a cotton. Um, so if you're interested in that instead of the blue, I will link that for you. So number two was this black swim cover up. I've worn this a few times on recent trips and I actually love it. It's so loose, but yet comfortable. It's not hot, even though it's black. However, I had mentioned, I think in that Marco Island trip, which I'll link that video below of the outfits if you missed it. I had said I was gonna order a different color. Well, I did. I ordered the white and I even went to check the size on the black one, which I ordered a medium because I wanted it to be a little bit oversized. You know, you don't want anything like that clinging to you. So the, the white does not fit like the black. It's like a size smaller. It's more fitted and it's shorter. And I've washed them both. I hung them up to dry, but it's like the white isn't even the same. I mean, it's similar, but it, fits totally different. So I just wanted to let you guys know that if you guys did the same um, and wondered why it didn't look the same as the black one. I love the way the black one fits. So I don't know if I'm going to order the white one again <laughs> in a size larger or what, but I found that really strange because even the material and everything, they were the same, but this is a great swim cover up. Again, it's easy. It goes with everything. I find myself really reaching for this type of cover up a lot lately. I have longer ones and pretty things like that. Sometimes this is just easy. By the way, it might be a little dark here today. I didn't want to turn the lights up too bright, but um, it's a little cloudy and overcast today. So next with this floral dress, I had said in, and I keep checking for restocks from the boutique that I know has it. That's not where I purchased it from. I actually purchased it from Dillard's, but I have never been able to find it on the Dillard's website. I've searched by brand, I've searched by maxi dress, cannot find it, but it was in store. Matter of fact, it was in store back in like April or May when I bought clothes to go to South Carolina. I had seen it in store and it was still there when I went back, you know, like in June or whenever I purchased this or it must've been end of May because I took the trip in June. So, and it was still there, which is so weird. I've never seen that happen on a website. So I did link in the Like to Know It app, the boutique that it was with, but you know, a boutique, they only order so many in every size and they usually sell out quickly. Sometimes they do restocks. Um, but again, if you follow me on Instagram, that's where I try to put in stories if something restocks. But I absolutely love this dress. You guys did too. It's just so bright and fun. The material is very nice on it. It just feels a little more elevated because of the colors and the material and you could wear it to all kinds of things. I paired it with a fun bright lip and some bright earrings. And again, I just loved it. It was like the perfect vacation dress. So next is this color block swimsuit. Uh, this has been a bestseller, I think every single month since I shared it last year. Uh, it may have dropped off in the winter a little bit, but you guys love the suit. I love it. It's so flattering. It is a little more cheeky in the back than I would like, but yet it actually makes your butt look really good, I think. I think I've mentioned that before. It's just an easy suit to wear. When I'm at the beach, this is the one I usually grab towards versus something I'm going to wear at the pool. 
Um, again, it's just so flattering, the cut. It would look good on every body type, I think. It's just a very comfortable, nice suit to wear. So this maxi dress I actually showed last year when we went to a trip in Florida. It was brand new last year. They still have it on the site. I love that when you still get things you know, the next year because I like wearing things over and over for my closet, especially things that you know, I really like whether they're inexpensive or expensive. It doesn't matter if I really like it, I'm gonna wear it over and over. I had actually asked you guys on Instagram if you only liked me posting things you could get links to or if you just like the inspiration because sometimes I just wanna post something that I've worn to give you inspiration. It's not about, oh, you can't get this anymore. I know that can be frustrating because sometimes you see something you really want it and then some things there's just not even anything I can link close to. Um, that was the case with a dress uh, recently on Instagram. But anyway, this dress, to get back to the story, I feel like I'm long-winded today, hopefully not, because I don't want this video to be super long. I love this dress. It's so flattering, so comfortable. I feel like you could dress it up or down, you know, wear it with flat sandals casually when you're on a beach vacation, or you could put it with some heels and different bag and jewelry, dress it up for like a rehearsal dinner or something like that. Anyway, I just feel like it's versatile. I love the colors, the print, it's so simple. Another favorite, the last one was from Amazon. This one is as well. This one was from last year as well. I wore this when we went to um, Chateau Elan and I loved it there. I thought it was like just one of, you know how certain dresses or outfits are just perfect for the occasion. And I get, I've told you guys before, I feel like I dress for where I'm going. Uh, my style changes all the time. Sometimes I'm edgy, sometimes I'm more conservative, sometimes I'm more preppy or colorful. It just really depends on my mood and where I'm at. So I love this dress, I love the color. It does come in a pink, I believe too, because last year I ordered both and I wasn't sure which I liked, but I definitely liked this uh, orangey color. So next is this dress from Target. This particular print goes in and out of stock a little bit, but they have like at least five or six different prints in this dress. It is so comfortable. It is very popular for a reason. And this dress has been a bestseller too, ever since I shared it. And what's funny is I think I only shared it like in the Like to Know an app and on Instagram stories. I had never even put it on my main Instagram page until like a week or two ago. But you guys have absolutely loved it. It's been popular all over Instagram, but mainly in other prints. Um, this one I don't see a whole lot of, but I like this one in particular. It's just so fun to throw on when you're just running errands, it's hot, you know, it's a great vacation dress too. So next is this black top. Um, I had ordered this when it was on pre-order and I just thought, you know what, this is a great looking top to wear with jeans, wear with white jeans, like it, you could put it with a skirt. It would just go with a lot of things, especially just when you want that little bit of sexier look maybe with the, you know, off one shoulder. I don't know, I loved it when I wore it here um, with white jeans. I also had paired it with shorts and took a picture because I thought I might wear it that way too. I just think it's really versatile. Um, I'm wearing a size small. I think I had ordered both extra small and small. Ended up going with the small. I actually just pre-ordered um, several weeks ago the white version too because I liked it that much. So these white denim shorts were a hit with you guys. I've worn them several times. I think I have them on my Instagram and then I wore them in that video too. They're just so easy to wear, so comfortable, have a lot of stretch to them, but stay up. Uh, they're a great length. They are the white version of the popular uh, denim shorts from Target that I had shared probably a year or so ago that were like the best seller, um, one of the best sellers of the year. So these are great too and a great, great price point. They are true to size. So I have two kind of that tied here. Um, this black dress. I had let you guys know about a week or two ago that I saw it came back in stock on the website because it had been sold out ever since I shared it. I think it came in like four or five colors, but ever since I shared the black when I went on my trip in May to South Carolina, it seems like it's been sold out ever since. Well, it finally came back. I love this dress. It was a spur of the moment. We stopped in Target and bluffed in on the way to check in um, in Palmetto Bluff. And I was like, I don't have anything like this. It's casual. I have some black dresses for summer, but it's just something about the material and the way it flows and you know, the buttons and just everything about it I love. Well, you guys apparently did too, because it's been so popular. I'm glad it came back. It's just a really must have dress. It's one of those dresses I feel like I take with me now, whether I know I'm gonna wear it or not, it's one of those backups I feel like on a trip. And then these chambray espadrilles, 
I absolutely love these. It's one of those when I bought them, I looked at them last year, didn't get them. I looked at them this year, I bought them on sale. They go in and out of a uh, sale. So, you know, wait for a sale price. But anyway, I had been looking then when I got them all over my closet, cause I have a lot of blue. Blue is my favorite color anyway. And you know, you could wear it with all white, you could wear it, you know, be great for, you know, any occasion really. I just love them. So it was like looking all over my closet. What can I wear with this? What can I, you know, and pulling down outfits that would go. That's why I said I posted that dress, that striped dress on my Instagram that's from like three years ago, but I love it. And I knew as soon as my shoes were sitting down there, I'm like, oh, that dress goes with that too. These shoes are great. Um, they take a little bit of breaking in. Like I wouldn't just walk around in them forever the first time you put them on, but they are comfortable. Okay, so now for my favorites. I've been using this for a couple months and I was gonna do a favorites video last month and just didn't end up doing it, but I love the shampoo and conditioner. So this is a large size, um, Suave. It's the almond butter and almond and shea butter. It's moisturizing, it has no dyes, parabens, things like that. I have the conditioner as well. This is such a good moisturizing shampoo. I was looking for a good one because I switch off between like my Olaplex and my Alterna uh, for color treated hair and just different ones like that. But sometimes I just want a plain moisturizing shampoo because some of the other shampoos or high end shampoos, they can weigh my hair down or they're adding like too much in it. At one point I felt I was using like some repairing shampoos or like, you know, if you think your hair is blonde, oh, you must need something for damage. Well, my hairstylist and I were talking is you can actually get too much protein then in your hair from certain shampoos. So, um, cause when I was using, I was overusing. So anyway, my hair has been a lot better since using this. Now it looks probably dry and like frizzy and you're thinking, well, I don't think your hair looks that great here. But keep in mind, most of the time I let my hair air dry and sometimes it looks better than others. I'll put the Olaplex oil in it just to tame down a little of the frizz, but my hair is naturally like just this wave. It's like not wavy enough that it looks like a curl and sometimes it can look like a frizz, but I just try to keep my hair air dried. So that's why it looks like that, but it's actually very healthy, feels great. Love this shampoo, try it out. All right, something I changed my mind about and I'll definitely let you know when that happens and I'll eat my words and whatever I said or dissed a product or whatever. I try not to do that too much because you know, I don't know, it just doesn't look great. But I know you guys like to hear about the good and the bad. So remember when I said I didn't like this mascara and I didn't think it did anything and it was overhyped and not sure whatever I was talking about. Yeah. So it's the uh, Lancome Lash Idol. And I tried to use it today, but it's so dried out that I had to put another coat of something else over top of it. But once this got dried out, a sufficient amount, I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna try that again. Cause I always have about two or three mascaras going in my drawer and I really liked it then once it got dried out. But when I first started using this, I didn't think it was great. It didn't do anything. But you know what I like about this? Not only did it give me some volume and length, but it seemed like it kept my lashes up. Now it was a pain to get off, but I find a lot of good mascaras are. Um, it kept my lashes up. Cause I feel like, especially on this eye where it's a little bit hooded, you know, my eyelid can push down my eyelashes a little bit. Even though I curl them, they seem to want to straighten back out. That's just my lashes in general though. This seemed to help keep them like raised up a little. I'm not sure if I would repurchase it only because I didn't love it in the beginning. Um, and then once I did start using it a lot, it seemed to really dry out. So, but I definitely got a good several weeks out of it and I changed my mind. But I just want to let you know, I did when I started using it, I did really like it. All right, some eyeshadows that I have not worn in a long time, but I just, once in a while I go back to them, but this uh, little quad I put together from MAC, and I will have to list down below what the shades are because obviously they're on the back and I can't get to them uh, right now without it being a big pain. But anyway, I've enjoyed, I am wearing this today, this quad. I've enjoyed going back to some MAC shadows and just older palettes and things like that. Another thing that I have been using nonstop, I just wish it was smaller because it's not very travel friendly. I had bought something one time to kind of replace this, but I swear I don't feel like the bronzer is the same. So this palette from Benefit, I have been using the bronzer and then two blushes out of it. So the Hula bronzer 
and then these two blushes. Basically, I'll just dab three times in this, three times in this. That's what I have on today. The Coralista and the Dandelion. But to me, the Hoola Bronzer in this is perfect. I have tried it in like, I have a little bitty square travel. Uh, and then I bought like a little three thing with like a blush combo in that. And I swear the bronzer is not the same. <laughs> At least to me, it doesn't seem the same. This one, they're all fantastic. I had shared on Instagram a lip combination that I was loving and uh, just wanted to say I am wearing it again here. Of course, I have since moved on, tried a few other things that I haven't worn in a while, but uh, this Lancome lip liner, hadn't worn it in a while, but it's such a good one just to have in your collection. Natural mauve and color, just a really pretty mauve. I fill in my lips with that and then put one of two glosses. Really, this is kind of my go-to gloss. Um, this is a new one I bought not long ago because I'd had that little small one and I just love it so much. This is Laura Mercier and it's in Bear Baby. So I have that over and this looks good, I feel like over everything. And I just, this is a gloss I just really like to use anyway. This one is, this one has some sparkle to it. This is Bobbi Brown. I don't think you can get this anymore. I checked like every website though, but if you guys have this or know where you can get it, um, you might wanna check it out. It is similar to something else I feel like I have. It's similar to Celeste by um, Buxom. I don't like the way that feels. I don't like that cooling, weird feeling of Celeste. I like the way it looks, but this looks very similar to that. And this one's called Bear Sparkle. And again, it's just like a really pretty pink, but it has some sparkle to it. So that's great over lip liners. Again, I've been kind of going back and forth with different combinations. So we just finished up uh, for TV, we finished Bosch. So that series is finished now. Um, I think the season seven only had like 10 episodes or something, it went pretty quick. And so that was out, we finished that. We finished uh, Lucifer and season six of that won't be out till they don't even have a release date. The earliest, earliest will probably be the end of the year or beginning next year. I have to say, I miss that show now that it's not on. It was just such a fun show to watch and the one-liners that he has and just his comedy in that show is like, so it's just funny. And I don't know, we really ended up liking that show. So if you need something to watch, that's a good one. It gets a little weird in certain seasons and a little like, I don't know, but to me, you're in it by then and it's such a good show that, I don't know, I like it. And it has to be a good show because they literally brought it back because so many people asked for a last season. So anyway, that is the TV. Don't think I have forgotten anything. I will list everything I spoke about below, whether it's clothes or makeup or anything like that. Let me know what you guys were loving, if it was any of the outfits or any of the makeup, if you have any makeup favorites or think something I need to try, let me know. If you're not yet subscribed, please do so. I'd love to have you back. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.